Okay folks, we just had a 4.0 off the coast of Northern California. For those of you living in Eastern Australia, near the borderline of Queensland and North South Wales, that blue-green algae outside has been a problem for a while. It's going to continue to be a problem. If you're outside, you need to be watching out for it. Folks, we're going to put this article below. It's a pretty good uh, detail of the global forest coverage. Uh, basically, uh, how set up we are to take carbon out of the atmosphere. In case you don't know, there's a web blackout tomorrow in protest of SOPA. Wikipedia will be joining it. Uh, we're still going to bring you the news. Uh, this coronal hole that we showed you a few days ago did smack us with the solar wind stream pretty good yesterday. And near the end of the day, you can see the solar wind speed come off the ground there. It did spike out around 530, 540 kilometers per second, as you can see here. Uh, we're coming out of it. Solar wind speed uh, is still kind of high. You can see the initial impact there on the induction magnetometer and Earth is continuing to resound as the solar wind speed is above normal. There's the initial impact there on the flux gate magnetometer and you can see here in the total electron content it was felt all the way through our protective layers. That's in our ionosphere. Folks, we've been telling you that the sunspot number has been kind of all over the place lately and this column right here is where you can see it. Um, you know, just two days apart we had 57, 145. Uh, it's really difficult to tell uh, what the sun's going to be doing uh, just a few days from now. Uh, it looked quiet a few days ago. We just had an M flare this morning. Uh, it has been quiet since then, but uh, these solar active regions could get back at it any time now. Now you can see here uh, the M flare occurring right there at a solar active region 11401, uh, but as you can see here on the uh, 193 angstrom, uh, there is no ejection associated with it. Let's have a closer look at these active regions as they turn the limb. Uh, up at the top there, that's solar active region uh, 11402. Uh, if the far side of it continues to develop, uh, this could go from beta, uh, from beta to beta gamma. Uh, NOAA still has uh, 11401 here in the middle labeled as beta. I maintain that this is beta gamma. Uh, it has been uh, the dangerous uh, solar active region here. And down at the bottom, we've had a few questions asking if this is a delta spot because you got the, both the blue and the red there. But believe it or not, that spot is completely within the red and that blue is actually maybe the penumbra or the area just behind that sunspot. So folks, we have uh, at least four magnetic filaments on the sun that we have to watch out for. Uh, might rip off at any time and let's keep an eye on those solar active regions turning a limb thank you guys all much uh, all so much for the great wishes yesterday really appreciate it be safe everyone